Again, I'm going to give you a quick picture of the World Magazine. There's Martin. There's Oprah. Martin. All the little things. That's what's going on in our world. But long story short, I'm going to give you a scoop. On next week, me in, in a shirt and tie with a hundred dollar hookup or a thousand dollar hookup, it don't matter. And I'm also going to keep giving you a picture of this wall and a picture of the magazines because I'm a little bit upset by the homeless people that I've been trying to help out. I've never been so disrespected. I'm going to keep showing you the picture of the magazines, which is my gold and mine. But uh, long story short, I've never been so disrespected by the homeless. Those that's on drugs, those that are in need, those that's on alcohol, dope, all messed up in the mind. They always feel that those that's way up here don't help them. And we're supposed to come down to your mess, to your the picture of the magazines which is my goal and mine. But uh, long story short, I've never been so disrespected by the homeless. Those that's on drugs, those that are in need, those that's on alcohol, dope, all messed up in the mind. They always feel that those that's way up here don't help them. And we're supposed to come down to your mess, to your dope-infested thoughts, your dope-infested everything, your nasty and smelly and funky and all messed up. And we're supposed to help you since you can help yourself. You can use your mind. But that's what your boy did. And I've never been so disrespected in my whole life. And I'm so glad this year is up for me helping the homeless. Some made little turns. But the majority stayed the same. They still had that dope fiend mind, dope fiend attitude, alcoholic mind. I don't care if they still do it or quit it. They never changed. They never changed. But long story short, it's on you to what? Change, to bounce off this wall and get into the magazine world. Okay. The magazine world. Right. See Oprah. Hear what your boy was talking about. We just um, just wiped him underneath the rug. Can't. We just gone crazy. We trillions and trillions in a hole. But to the homeless and those in need, who always talk about folks don't help them, we came to help you. I came for all the Eddie Long family, the Holy Redeemer family, the Christian Faith family, TBN, everybody. We came here to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, to try to help the homeless. And they remain homeless. They remain in the same train of thought. They had never seen a magazine like they end up like T.I. locked up for life on some stupid stuff or they might bounce back. T.I. going to bounce back because his heart is right. But the homeless, uh-uh. That's why I keep showing you the magazines. I keep showing it to you to let you know there's better life going on besides what's going on in the Middle East and all that. But back to the homeless. You need to help yourself. Those in need, those that's crying about the world economy and all that kind of stuff, you need to help yourself. You need to get, get yourself together, get right, and do the things that you have to do to succeed. Stop with all this complaining. That's why I keep giving you the wall so this stuff can bounce back on your mind. Then I try to quickly give you the pictures of magazines so you can look forward to your future. But the main thing I want to give you is a picture of a wall. So you can think about yourself instead of everybody else. Illuminati one on one. Keep your minds on others besides yourself. Why? Because then you bring destruction to yourself because you stop helping yourself. Long story short, as I always speak about my father, adopted father, homeless professor in San Francisco, called me a million times a day like he's a little baby crying in the wilderness, unable to help himself. Homeless. But long story short, in order for you to get up, from your down situations, you're going to have to help yourself no matter what's going on in life, no matter what people are doing, what they saying, what you've been through, your hurts, pains, your situation, what's going on in your mind now. You're going to have to shut it down and bounce back and become a better you. Be a better thinker. This is your boy, Miracle Obama. Shout now for PeopleTalking.com. We're on our way to Houston, Dallas. 
probably touch on Atlanta depends on how the wife is tripping you know she probably to murder her and her boyfriend and her friends so we might not make that stop but we did our work here in Milwaukee with the homeless and those are in need they're without excuse along with the rest of the homeless and the millions of homeless across the world you're without excuse because you have your own mind to do what you want to do and to be what you want to be and you who listening right now you without excuse to be what you want to be and do what you want to do so it's your time to rise or shine or remain the same it's on you get into the magazine world and stay your mind bouncing off the wall it's all on you what you gonna do huh is you gonna rise and end up like T.I. or is you gonna rise and be on Oprah have you learned from King have you learned from Vibe have you learned from the heart and soul have you learned have you learned from all these faces have you learned from the internet have you learned anything huh have you learned from your mama daddy sister brother your past your hurt pain and situation have you learned or not Where's on you? And we'll see. Right now, keep bouncing off the wall with your thoughts and learn from your past hurts and pain situation and all the things that you've been through and become a better you. It's your boy, Miracle Obama. Out. Become a better you. It's time for you to become a better thinker. Out is on you, your boy.